Okay, let's talk about running the wires from the roof to the front engine compartment on this Wolverine. Okay, you can see I've got some wires here. These are a couple of 12 gauge wires for the windshield wiper system and possibly for some cooling fans. I ran 12 gauge. I probably didn't need to. I probably needed 16, but I figure two wipers running off one 12 gauge wire will be fine. And I don't know what I'm going to need for the fans. So I went a little overkill. So what I did was I used half inch wire loom and just came up along tie wrapped it in okay in the back I used one inch loom which was really bigger than I wanted to use at first but the coupling for the USB extension was really fat and wouldn't fit into the the half inch for the backup camera so it feeds down and I'll go over to this side and we'll show you what we've got Okay. All right. So this is where we came through the roof from the uh, front light bar video with the light bar cable. Um, as the half inch loom came over, I went to the one inch loom and just stuck the loom in about two inches, fed the wire in, put a tie wrap on it to hold the half inch loom in nice and tight and everything together. And then we continued on with the one inch loom. Let me see if I can get you a picture this way now. Okay, so the one inch loom goes along the bar and it's tie wrapped right here. And then it's tie wrapped down at the other end and also the roof pushes down on it because it barely, barely fits across the bar here. So I had to loosen the uh, screws to the roof and then lift the roof up a little. Then I put the split loom wire loom under the roof and then just pull the roof down and put the screws back in because the looms one inch loom it's basically empty it has those two 12 gauge wires and the wire from the light bar so it flattened out then it came over the bar down to where it meets up with this one where I used 3m electrical tape to make this T um, you can see the one inch loom continues over so Everything's all tied up and it looks clean. Um, when you do this T area, you really want to use a good quality electrical tape. Like I said, I used a, a 3M electrical tape. Use a good quality one and stretch it tight while you're wrapping. When you get to the last three or four times around, release the, the pressure of pulling on the tape and go around three or four times just nice and easy don't stretch it and that way the tape will stay in place if you continue to stretch all the way to the end then the tape will start to pull itself off trying to get back to its original shape so all right so then i drilled in to the let me go over here now Let's see if you can see it i drilled in to the roll cage and used a big fat grommet and went in there and then you can see I came out right here way so you can see and then I notched out this panel so that it fit it it went, went over the cable now let's talk about what I did with the roll cage here because you know I did this and I've done this on other vehicles I've owned but when you drill into the roll cage you are gonna compromise some of the strength at the roll cage now I went with a big grommet because I ran a ton of wire I got wires for the dome lights the rear light bar I got the USB cable for the backup camera I got the front light bar the windshield washer system the fans so I had a, a big chunk of wires going in over here so I had to drill a pretty good sized hole and then I put in a, a heavy duty grommet um, not like those cheap grommets you buy that come in an assortment from Harbor Freight these were really thick and you can see this one down here too and then I put the loom, um, this loom here on this one I think is, is, that's either one or three quarter inch I used on that one. Okay, but the hole you have to cut into the pipe is pretty significant. 
Um, do I think it compromised the roll cage? Mm, slightly. Um, I did go close to this bracket here, okay, so that it probably wouldn't affect that area as much because we've got this upper bracket as well as we've got this lower bracket and the holes like in between them you've also got this area where the seatbelt is so you're in a very small area where I decided to drill the hole so I don't think it'll be too bad and then as far as the bottom goes that one um, you've got the the bar here okay and then right below it is where it mounts on so I don't think it's too bad, but then again, I've never ever flipped one of these. I'm in my 50s now, um, mostly trail riding. You're not going to be going fast. Um, they do trail riding and you go mud bog riding where I am. Well, I'm not going to fill this thing full of mud. I'm too old to want to have to clean it all. And, you know, like I said, I've never rolled one of these in my whole life, ATV or side by side. So I don't think I'm going to start now, so I'll take the risk. But anytime you drill into your roll bar, you're taking a risk. Now, I'd like to say that I wish these side-by-side -side companies would get wise to the fact that you're putting accessories in your roof and you got to run wires down. And it would be nice if they would put like an extra half channel along one of the rear pipes, you know, that that maybe was like a, a half U that went the length of the back of this pipe and you could get into it up here just to run wires. And the reason I say that is, is they sell you all the accessories to go on the roof, yet they don't give you a way to get the wires down. And this side by side, this Yamaha Wolverine was the worst of all of them that I've worked on. Because right here, where you see this bolt go through, there's a, a portion of this pipe up inside here that that bolt goes through that connects them together. Well, it's completely sealed. You can't run wires down the middle of that pipe, which is why I had to come out where I came out. Um, you can't run any wires. Everything is sealed in this pipe down, and I want to drill a hole because I'm assuming it's sealed for reasons, at the, capped at the top. And then you come to the front, and you can't come down the front pipe because the front pipe ends somewhere up in here and it's all welded so Yamaha really limited you on getting your wires down to the floor now once I come in where I came in here I come in I go down I had this panel out you know so that I could um, notch it for that and then I ran across there's a there's a brace on the back of the gas tank and I ran across there and then I ran across to the front of the seat mount and then underneath and I followed the factory wires up but um, just you make the decision whether you want to cut the hole and and the reason that I cut the holes in the pipe are you know everyone said oh if you roll over you're gonna get hurt stuff like that that's fine but what I've seen is People that tie wrap the wires to the outside or the inside of the, the roll cage, I've seen those wires get damaged because they're just tie wrapped along the whole frame. And I've seen those wires get pinched to ground, start fires, uh, melt wires, uh, cause a lot of damage. So I chose to drill in and run them, and I'm just letting you know how I did it. It's up to you if you want to do it or not. And let me see what else. I think that's about it. All right, I got more videos coming of stuff that's going on with this Wolverine, and we'll see you soon.